Hey everyone, welcome back to another devlog. I've got some really exciting news to share later on, so stay tuned. But first, I want to give an update on how everything is going. These past few weeks have been quite daunting to say the least. For stars, it's that time of year again for me to start thinking about school and course registration, so that's been giving me quite a lot of stress. As well as, some days I just feel unmotivated to work on the game, which I think has caused myself to get into the habit of procrastinating. I'm trying to fix this and I realize it's an issue for me. It's also the reason why I started YouTube, to give me a reason to work on the game every week by keeping schedules of weekly devlogs. Well, since my last devlog was 3 weeks ago, I haven't been sticking to my word. To hopefully make it up to you, next week I'll be hosting and participating in the first collab jam, which is a collaboration with Krevs, Avalon, The Techpreneurs, and TakeLime. The jam will be 48 hours and will begin on July 1st and will go to the end of July 2nd. Feel free to join if this is something you're interested in. Links to everyone's channels and the jam will all be in the description. Alright, let's get into the changes I've made since the last devlog. The ladybugs now have health bars. I've made it so that the health bars will only appear once you've dealt damage to them, as well as I've tied the visibility range with the health bars. So if you leave the range of the animal, the health bar will no longer show up. It will also not show up if you kill it. Another change I made was adding the same ground angle script I made for the player and adding it to the ladybug. Now it looks like the ladybug is interacting and adapting with the world around it rather than just hovering there. And the last thing I've added was flipping the ladybug over onto its back when it dies. Surprisingly, this took the longest time to implement as I had to make sure it was still properly reacting to the angle of the ground as it flipped over. I did have troubles with this because 3ds Max and Unity use two different axes for the up direction, so importing between the two can become difficult at times. This time, I forgot to enable the Y axis up option in 3ds Max, which caused a lot of headaches when it came to rotations. Also, we just hit 100 subs, which is unreal, and I'd like to thank you all for your support. The Discord server is also up and running, the link will be in the description, and as always, I'll try my best to respond to all your comments and suggestions. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you later.